Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. We have sun for the first time in I think five or six days. It has been dark and rainy and ugly uh, for days and cold. It's actually warmer today too. Um, let's go check out the solar and the water situation after five, six days of non-stop drizzle. We have 13.1 volts and 39 watts on the solar. Now, um, it's still early morning, so we have, let me see what the uh, energy, 2 times 13 is uh, 20, 26 watts plus 40 watts, just went up to 40, so 66 watts coming in total. Nothing spectacular, but it is still early morning, and the sun hasn't quite hit the solar panels, but look at this, guys, look at this. Now this is something we haven't had before. We have some sunlight starting to hit the solar panels. Um, when these two trees are gone, there won't be anything restricting anymore. So give it another hour or so, and we're going to have the sun comes over this path here. Okay, Another hour or so, because these couple trees here are gone, we're going to have solar power, maximum solar power in the morning. See, the sun is on the rock now. We haven't had this before until we started clearing trees. We haven't had sun on them for in, well, at all. Now, the water, oh, what, no, is that, oh, wow, oh, I'm going to have a heart attack, we got half a tank of water, I did not believe it, it rained hard in the night, oh, that's good, that's such a relief, oh, that's such a relief, see the water line, I thought we were out, we have not had rainwater. It rained five, six days straight, and we haven't had any rainwater in our tanks. That is such a relief. I gotta tell Melanie. She's using our drinking water for um, washing dishes. And we have half a tank of water. It's still not spectacular. That only, only lasts us a short time. It must have really, really rained the other day. Finally. Um, anyway, Chris and I are going off right now to find a water pump of sorts. We're going to try to find something we can assemble or put together so we can pump water out of the creek uh, for emergency situations. Um, so we're going to go over to my junkyard friend's place. Um, he's the one that does all the scrap hauling and has a lot of interesting junk laying around and see if we can find something that we can assemble or use. Maybe find some scrap pump and put a gas engine on it or something. Uh, for emergency purposes, because this was, um, I mean, we had nothing. Hey guys, um, bit of a chaos mess here. We're cleaning up the front area, and we're moving the campers. And there was a lot of stuff in and around the campers. Tarps everywhere. We untarped everything, and uh, we got one camper down. I, um, we're going to get every single thing now that's left in the front yard out. So we pulled everything out of cubby holes and where they were stuffed. Um, Melanie's camper's in the back, and then my camper's going next to that, and that's where gonna, they're going to stay until we get the area cleared out over here where they're finally going to live. But for now, we're going to have this entire front yard cleaned up today. Um, it looks worse than it is. Most of it's just containers and odds and ends that we have to put away. So uh, we're getting to it. We'll get that truck camper out of here too. And the last little bits of wood and scraps, and eh, it isn't that much stuff left. And this whole front yard will be completely free of everything. And then the motorhome is the next project. We're working on that. Uh, I've been clearing a path for that out in the woods. Hi guys, Chris and I are just watching Melanie work. Uh, it's very pleasurable. <laughs> you did an amazing job. Melanie, actually, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was always a pile of junk right here uh, behind the house. Just a bit, bunch of mixed stuff. Uh, those pieces of wood right there weren't there as well. Melanie cleaned it all up while Chris and I worked on moving the campers. Look at this, guys. Um, from now on, the truck is going to park in front of the tiny house on wheels. Look at this. This is amazing. Teamwork. Everybody working together. Now, I can, without embarrassment, look this way. Well, soon. <laughs> There's still a little bit of junk. Chris is in the view. <laughs> Now I can look without embarrassment. <laughs> exactly. So, well, uh, once we get all this stuff out of here, a little bit of tools in the boat and stuff, we will have a really, really nice yard. Yeah. Um, 
you know, remember the other day, or well, actually a month or so ago when I looked this way and talked about how, how happy I was that I could look this way. And now I can look this way without embarrassment. This is the first time, everybody, in uh, at least a year and a half since I've even seen this side of the tiny house on wheels. And there's the tongue of the trailer. Um, for the first time ever, it's actually visible. So uh, from now on, I think I'll park my truck right up in there, and then this whole place will just be open. Uh, it's just gonna look incredible. Uh, Melanie wants to put some flowers up there next year around this side. And uh, yeah, now this is this big open hole here. It's just uh, amazing, isn't it, Chris? Yeah. This huge clearing that I've never seen to this day. I've never had this open so it feels good anyway um, we got both campers back there uh, all all hands were helping we were all working together today yeah. um, Melanie's camper my camper so I've got to level mine off but they're out of the way for now again that's that's just until we clear their final home which is going to be over here uh, they won't even be visible much once it's done because that brush pile there I'll cover them So we're gonna clear up uh, Those trees and then those campers will be moved there to their final home, but for now they're out of the way Well, I'm gonna join everybody back at work um, the Sun Teased us this morning and then went away uh, We thought we'd have a beautiful day, and I thought I'd finally be able to show you the um, what happens when I clear the trees off the uh, out of the way, but mm, I don't even know where the sun is, so that didn't happen. Well, guys, according to the weatherman, today is a sunny day. Um, doesn't look like it. It really picked up on us here. And the good news is, obviously, we need the rain, so hopefully it's filling up the tank. Uh, bad news is we're not done cleaning up the yard. Um, we we're gonna put get every single thing out of the yard. We still got a, a water tank. I wanna. I'm swapping tanks out in the watershed over here, and um, a rototiller I'm gonna put away for the season. I'll have to. Um, empty the tank out and then run the engine to clean out the rest uh, to empty it out the rest of the way um, Melanie's camper I did not have tarped over yet it was supposed to be sunny we were not done um, it's really coming down so I hope that Melanie's camper doesn't get any water in it we had had to move the tarps move the campers and I, we weren't done we went to town to uh, grab some some parts some fittings I need plumbing and I drop off the tires to a friend who's going to swap them out for us for the uh, log splitter and on the way all of a sudden it started just raining so here we are um, hopefully it'll clear up soon uh, well I'm torn between wanting water to fill the tanks and not let's go see the water tanks um boy it just picked up so, I can't quite see, is there any water coming in? There's just a trickle running in from the uh, nozzle. I can't show you, it's hard to reach. But we're, we've got half the tank. Melanie has been using water, and it was down a little ways, so it's coming back up some. And we certainly need the water. Well, I guess this is nature, unpredictable. So I'll work on videos a little bit, and uh, we're all three of us, we got all hands on deck today. We're cleaning this place up. I guess we needed a break. Hi guys. Well, Chris, what do you feel about today? Well, a lot done, it looks real good. Yeah. Melanie did an amazing job out here. Well, Melanie raked while Chris and I worked on uh, moving stuff around. So, looking good. We got most of the stuff moved. We got the boat put away where the boat's going to stay. And uh, we're going to move the come along and an old generator that doesn't work. Well, the generator works, but the carburetor leaks. Got a couple other things here to move, little things. 
some pallet pieces. But there it is, guys. We're getting there. Now, you can see when you come in to the tiny house on wheels, you come into the driveway. Oh, Melanie put a plant up here by the entrance. That's a flower. You come in and you see nothing. It really looks weird. So I'll be parking the truck over here in front of the house, leaving the whole rest of the place open. Looks good. Uh, we're going to continue working out through uh, tomorrow as well and uh, try to clean up the whole front yard. Still have a few more things to move, but it's, uh, it's getting late. It's dinner time. And then after that it'll be dark. We did work, by the way, in the rain. I just couldn't record, but we all kept on going. And you can see the results. And it's pretty good. It feels really good. I think I'm going to jack up my camper and level it off a bit because it's a little crooked. It's very crooked. But other than that, we're done for the day, guys. Talk to you all later. Unless something comes up. Good night. Hey, everybody. Um, I did get a pump today. Um, bought this for $20 from a friend. It uh, was used as a swimming pool pump, submersible sump utility pump, eight and a half amps at 115 volts. So then it used a garden hose attachment. Um, pretty rough threads, but there it is. Tested it out in the creek at my friend's house and uh, ran it for quite a while to make sure it works. So that should be a pretty good pump for emergency use. Now it's not a high flow, but it will, I'm sure, help us in emergency to get water into our tanks. We'll still have to take out a generator when we go to the creek, but at least with this, in emergency when our main reserves are low, then we can go out to the creek and get some water. So that is a relief. That's definitely a good thing to have a pump on hand. Um, we're still looking for a gas-powered um, transfer pump, one of those high-powered uh, gas engine transfer pumps with a two or three inch hose and that will really help us fill some water into the tanks when we uh, when we need it next in the future. But for now we got an emergency, emergency backup. Well, that's it guys. Talk to you all later. Good night.